Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. One thing I wanted to show you is how I'm creating my backup save files. You see how I've got two files for Theodore's Tale? What I like to do is, well, obviously I like to have my finished file after having fully looted the challenge dungeon and such, but I also like to keep a file just before fighting the final boss of any tale, just in case there's something that I forgot or maybe something that I could have gotten locked out of. Uh, Rydia's Tale is a particularly good example because I won't spoil it, but there's an event towards the end where if you didn't do something correctly, you'll be permanently locked out of something else. So I just wanted to keep that in mind for you. Uh, so yeah, always create, in my opinion, always create a save file just before the final boss of a tale and one after fully reading the challenge dungeon, if you want to do that. I should probably adjust my settings. Yeah, let's change that. Oh, right, I was wondering if I needed to check a setting for skipping turns for to another character. Spoiler alert, we're gonna get more characters in this tale besides Rydia. Yeah, they're never going to just uh, stick you alone by yourself, so we'll, we'll be fine. But the, 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 there are a lot fewer characters in these tales. Usually you're not going to get up to five characters in most of the tales. And normally I wouldn't like that because I like having access to everything. Like buffs, debuffs, your tanking and whatnot, healing and whatnot. But the way they use it in the after years, I actually really like it because it makes the game an, an interesting challenge because you have a lot more limited resources to... Well, to draw upon. Like here, all we got is, you know, Rydia, her DPS, and some debuffs. We don't have any buffs to help us out, so it makes the items more useful. You gotta ha keep track of or manage your inventory of healing items more. So I like that. It makes you think a little more than you have in the past. You could use Rydia's whip, put her in the front row, and kill the enemies that way. But, well, I have patience problems, so I want to kill them a little quicker than that. Alright, here we get a feathered cat. We want to give that to her, so eh, a little better on the defense there. Nice. How's your defense multipliers? Ew, not so good. We'll have to do something about that. But for now, let's get out of here. Relatively short area. Nice that the uh, enemies have toned it down since the last time. But yeah, these battles are quick enough, so we'll just zim zam zoom, get through them. Probably start editing battles out as we get as the battles get more complicated, but like I did in the first last tale, but what about Luca? Is she here or Oh, so that's how you got here. I thought Edge had the Falcon. What the It's a monster that's slightly harder than the last one. Oh, sorry I went through that too quickly. Uh, she said, I can't do anything. Like, really, Rydia? But it's just a scripted battle, so. Well, all right. Luca! I'm going to pronounce it Luca. I don't think it's Lucca. It just sounds weird. Oh, and you still got the drill on there and everything. Holy cow. So I guess we gave the... Uh, Falcon to the Dwarves. Well, thanks a lot. Yay! Happy music. And she even has Sid's theme, too. Mm, 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 mm. I just love the bass line to this song. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Hey, hey, all right like the pink hair you got going there. It's a nice contrast to Rydia's green hair. You are a little short, but, well, no shorter than Rydia, so. I would think dwarves would be a lot shorter, but what about the crystal? No one said anything about the crystal. So all the Eidolons are gone. That doesn't mean anything. What do you mean by that? I just asked that. And... Oh, yeah. 
Well, the monsters are way easier than they were the last time we were in the underworld. Yeah, me too. This is a JRPG. They are... Yeah, it's still a JRPG. Yeah, princess escaping from the castle in her life of... Well, sol well, not solitude, but whatever. You know what I mean. Well, what was that sound? Uh, expl whoa! An airship. Scrap the tanks! There'll never be another war! Oh, uh, we could use those tanks about now! Crap. What happened to the one airship in our entire fleet? Nuts. Well, that was fast. How'd they get here already? One thing you gotta keep in mind is that, for the most part, all of these tales are taking place at the same time. So... It's not like this is happening after Theodore's tale. Remember in Theodore's tale when we saw... Well, you might not have remembered it, but you saw the airship with Luca and Rydia on it? That was well, in the future! Not, not now, though. Then we'll become now soon. Worry not, viewers. I don't know how soon, but soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. But anyway, now we got Luca in our party. Yay! So, yeah, remember during the ending when you saw Luca sort of cheering with everyone else, all the active characters during the ending? Well, now she's an active party member, and she's permanent, too. So, that's pretty nice. Well, everyone seems to be jolly here. Oh, no. Couldn't be. Maybe this was right after uh, she took over Baron or something. Wow. She can turn idolins to stone and create monsters everywhere. Nuts. Yeah, she does seem pretty scary. You, you'd think you would have come up with a better defense system than that since then. Lally ho! Yay! Oh, I love it. Hey, how's it going? Why did you steal my one airship? We could have done something about that. Ah. Well, it couldn't have been that feeble if they stole your crystal. Again. How has it been so long be between us seeing each Rydia and Giat seeing each other, but Rydia and Luca seem to be the best of friends? Well, she kind of stole them, but yeah, yeah, that would be a problem. She is bombing everything. Uh, your battle-hardened dwarven guards kind of suck, Jia. I, I hate to break it to you. But then again, this is a JRPG where guards don't even have any aim, let alone be remotely competent. Yeah, apparently so. I thought everything was going just fine. He fought off all the monsters and everything. Or maybe she just stole the airships and he after he fought her off, though. I don't know. Where are the other two? You're not going to tell us, are you? You know, that is one thing that I really wish they did in the after years. Like, explained where the other dark, two dark crystals are, were being held. But, now they just say, nope, they already got them again. So, I mean, I'm not bashing on the game for not doing that, but that would have been a nice touch if they did that. But, oh well. What do you mean we're not going alone? Well, I suppose there's two of you, but... Oh, they sealed it up again, huh? Well, at least they learned their lesson from the last time. Aww. 
Really? You're a king in a JRPG, and you thought your princess of a daughter was not going to end up being stubborn? Ha 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, but other than that, everything's fine! Sounds like a plan. Oh, sorry I went through that too quickly. Yeah, let's reinforce our defenses now that they have no reason to come and attack us anymore. Oh, nuts. Why didn't they do that the first time? Okay, well, let's go and loot their castle. They're not going to need the treasure anymore. And one thing you got to be careful for... Oh, is there anything I want to buy here? Uh, yeah, yeah, there is, eventually. But, uh, yeah, there's... Let's see. We want to buy a Crescent Axe for Luca there. It's a little better for her. I'm going to hold on to all of my equipment again and not sell it for for, net for right now. I'm not going to buy anything else for right now, either. Huh. Uh, no, not today. I, I've seen enough of that. Let's go check out the developer's room. The old developer's office. Oh, just like in, uh, the interlude, I think. Hmm. But anyway, uh, back to where I was going. Uh, when you're looking for treasures in the after years, there's some new objects that you can examine to find stuff. Like, the suit of armor, another couple or is that the first one? No, that's the second one. Okay. Well, I... What, what do I need his permission for? I'm just going to loot all your treasure anyway. Ah, there we go. Anything down there? No. And just like before, they got all these secret passages. Ooh, an iron shield. And she can equip that. Yeah, because that axe is one-handed. So that'll be pretty nice for her for now. Ether. Awesome. Ooh, a silver, silver apple. Let's see, we want to give that to Rydia there. That'll be... Oh! Keep the potions on top there. We don't have a white mage. Or any way of healing besides those. For now. Uh, no, that's not where I want to go. Let's go out this way. Walk this way! Well, they just stole your crystal. What, you didn't do anything? Didn't seem very red to me. Our airship's the red one. Well, apparently so. I don't know who we're fighting against. Seems awfully mysterious to me. Oh, well, I guess that dwarf really is sleeping on the job this time around. I think he said I'm not sleeping on the job last time, but then again, they all kind of say that. So, Ah, bomb crank. There we go. Yeah, I like how they made the... Uh, the battle items a lot more useful. Although we do have... Let's give that to Luca there. They do have... Well, we have Rydia, so it's probably not as useful in this tale, but well, there's only so many black mages to go around. So, let's see. Gotta get... Maybe I could just warp back. Nah. Oh, so far so good. Uh... Nope, we want to go downstairs now. Downstab! No. No. Ah, okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. You can't just walk there, though. We're going to have to take the airship, I think. Oh, well, I'll do the best I can. Uh, oh, well, apparently Luca thinks he's in good shape. Oh, haha. <laughs> Now let's see, uh, which one is it? I think it's one of these. Ah, there we go, another Cuckalore, all right. And just shake it off, soldier. What happened to the uh, bird of the gods? Well, they got rid of it, because now we have, oh, I don't know what I found there, potions. Ooh, the warrior's clothes. We want to save those for later. 
Yeah, let's check, go on and check it out. See, there's one more Kokolor that's pretty tricky to find. See, nothing here. Well, at least they gave us something other than cottages this time around. Yeah, cottages, not so useful in the early tales because, well, we're just not going to have the HP to really take advantage of them. But yeah, you can search desks now, uh, suits of armor, you name it. Lots of things that you couldn't search for in the last game. And here we get the fourth Cuckalore. So yeah, you want to make sure you save those for later so that way we can put them to, to use for forging other equipment later. But do you really expect me to go straight to the sealed cave? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.